Coach Jay Thomas, the Demon Football Coach. Yes, it is time for spring football. Kicks off tomorrow, 15 practices. Coach D, how excited are you? Oh, we're ready to go. Uh, had a great all season. Players did a tremendous job. Uh, without a doubt, one of our best ones that we've had. Uh, been very spirited. The guys have worked tremendously hard in the weight room. Uh, got to credit our strength staff. They've done a really good job there. Uh, you know, getting our coaches in and uh, having mat drills. We did six of those at 6 a.m. in the morning. All those went really good. So just looking for that carryover into spring practice. And uh, it's just going to be fun to get out back on the field and get these guys going. And, you know, we've got some new things we're going to look at offensively, defensively that we're installing. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be an interesting spring. Okay, let's talk about uh, uh, some of the new. You got new offensive, defensive coordinators. You were looking for some adjustments uh, in both ways, some improvements. What are you looking at? Well, uh, yes, Kyle Manley is now our offensive coordinator. Uh, we also hired Jeff Bowen, who had spent two years here with us, uh, coached our tackles, tight ends, uh, left for a year, so it was good. Uh, makes the transition a lot easier. He knows our our players, uh, he has an idea of what we're doing offensively. Uh, but yeah, we're implementing some, some new looks, uh, what we talked about before, you know, streamlining our offense. Still want to be balanced. We still got to be able to run the football. Uh, I think that's the key to uh, anyone's success is, is, is being able to do that, to be able to keep the defenses off balance. But uh, particularly uh, looking at, you know, matching the run game with the passing game, the play action type stuff, all those things we're going to look at uh, going into, uh, you know, to the spring and, and how much we can put in. Obviously, it's going to depend on how much our guys are, you know, how well they're doing early. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Defensively, bringing in uh, Coach Brad Laird. Uh, it's an entirely new system uh, on defense. So it's going to take a, a process, uh, you know, a learning process from our players. You know, we'll go through some growing pains along the way. Uh, we, we hired Jake Olson from ULM. He'll coach our linebackers. But other than that, the staff is pretty well intact. So, um, but it's going to take some time. It's a little bit of adjustment for me too as well. I'm back over, uh, as they say, I'm back on my tools working again, coaching the defensive line. Uh, we made a move with August Mangin. Last year he worked with the tight ends, special teams. He's still going to be with the special teams, but we're moving him over. He's going to work with what we're calling our buck linebacker, uh, and he'll help me with the defensive line. So, yeah, there's a few changes staff-wise. Uh, philosophies on both sides are definitely changing. So, uh, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. It's something new for our players. They're looking forward to it and just, you know, looking forward to seeing these guys, uh, you know, how much they're improved in the offseason, the weight room, and, and watch the uh, transformation onto the field. All right. Uh, specifically, Inevitably, no matter what the situation, people want to talk about the quarterback position. Certainly that's an interesting with J.D. Allman, the senior back, after starting the last three games last year. And then uh, two new guys to the active roster, uh, Kenny Sears and Clay Holgerson. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it, obviously that's going to be a very competitive battle. Uh, J.D.'s going to be the guy that everyone's going to have to beat out. Uh, you know, we had Kenny Sears here. He was redshirted last year. Uh, ran the scout team for us, a uh, talented young man. Uh, can't wait to see him finally get into some live type action. And then, of course, bringing Clay in. Uh, Clay was a Memphis, Memphis signee that uh, transferred to junior college. Uh, a guy we knew about coming out of the Houston area when he was coming out as a high school guy. But getting him in here too as well. So it's going to be a competitive battle. Um, you know, looking forward to that. Hopefully by the end of spring, we'll know which guy that is. And, um, you know, if, if have to, we'll go into uh, summer summer camp uh, to uh, to play that out as well. But, you know, it's only 15 days, and that's the thing. You would like to have about 30 days to do that. But all three guys very talented, and a little bit that I've seen of them out throwing the ball and stuff like that, just by peeking out the corner of my eye, you know, it's, it ought to be making an exciting spring. All right, other positions of emphasis, if you will, from the standpoint of competition. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Um, you know, if you look at the team competition, 
uh, things that we didn't do really well last year was third down, and it didn't make any difference what the dis down and distance was. Uh, the long yardage, mid-range yardage, short yardage, and that was offense and defense. So uh, that's an area that we have to get better as a team. Uh, I think the red zone offense and defense, we've got to get better in those two areas, uh, particularly with the ball uh, 10 and in. Uh, both sides, the offense being able to score the football. You know, um, I like to kick field goals, but I'd rather be kicking extra points. Uh, you know, in defense holding to uh, field goal tries. So we've got to get better there, uh, particularly the defense with the five and the end. And you know, we've got to work on that really, really hard this spring. But uh, when you look at positions, uh, you mentioned the quarterback positions, the area that we've got to watch uh, this spring is going to be very competitive. Also the wide receiver position. Uh, you know, over the last two years, we've graduated some really talented guys that played a lot of football for us. So uh, we're looking for guys to fill those roles. Feel good about our offensive line. We still have some competitive battles going there, uh, but that's going to bring back the most experience. Uh, the running back, a lot of experience coming back. Getting Chris Jones back uh, certainly helps, uh, you know, give us some depth there. Uh, defensively, we're having to rebuild a defensive line, and so there's going to be a lot, a lot of new looks, new faces there. Plus, I'm the D-line coach now, so that's a new face to the D-line. Old face, but new face. Uh, but uh, six senior linebackers. So right now we're looking at the defensive line and a few of the positions in the secondary that we got to shore up.